Welcome back to the channel guys and in today's Blender tutorial I'm going to be showing you step by step how you can do a hair gradient in a Blender. Now this is really simple to do within the node setup. So a gradient is just this change of color or value that happens across the length of the particle here. And this is really kind of a cool way of adding some style and flair to hair. It can work with any type of hair particle. So here I just have a um, one of my sculpts from a previous tutorial that I've just added some really quick and dirty hair to just to kind of demonstrate the point here. So what you can do is just get whatever hair you're working with and all you need to simply do is assign a color. Now I've already got materials on this one so I'm going to get rid of them. So whatever object is your hair object you're going to select it and add the hair and you also want to make sure that in your hair particles if you have hair that under your render that um, material is chosen okay um, so what I'm gonna do is let's just this material we created here we'll just call it hair and um, it's calling it hair.001 because I already have one called hair but it's, you kind of get the point then you're gonna go into your shading workspace and what you want to do is you want to come here by default it creates a principal shader you're gonna select it and just press delete and if you're working in cycles, which is what we're going to be working in, you're going to go shift a search and you can type in hair and click on hair BSDF and then plug the BSDF into the surface of the material output. And now if you come over here and you go Z, you go rendered and you kind of look at your hair, you're going to see by default, it creates this um, thing here, which is okay. You know, you can add some value and color and you can see here, um, you know, it gives a relatively good result. But what we're looking for here is a nice gradient effect. To do that, you're going to go Shift A, you're going to go Search, and you're going to type in Curve Info. Now, if you're using an older version of Blender, in this case, I'm using 4.3, but if you go back far enough in Blender, um, this used to be called the Hair Info node. It's now called the Curve Info, and you no longer get the Hair Info. So you're going to click on Curve Info once you've typed it in, and you're going to take this option here called Intercept and plug it into the color of the Hair BSDF. And now you can see already you have the sort of gradient along here. But to really get more control, you're gonna go Shift A, search and type in ramp, and then get a color ramp and place it on this cable. Now, if we were to drag these two values closer together, you can see we're increasing the contrast between the dark value here and the light value. So at the base here, we've got the black. So I'm gonna take that and I'll change it to maybe like a brown kind of color for our hair. There we go. And then I'll take this value over here and drag it down and I'll make this one, let's go over a nice blue. And then I'm gonna go plus and add another one, which I'm gonna to drag to the end. And this one I'll kind of make like a sort of greenish teal kind of color. And you can see now we have this really nice sort of gradient effect going across the head. And this is gonna work for any sort of hair particle that you add. And this is a really, really simple way of making a gradient. So that's how simple it is. So I want to quickly go ahead and just go render and just show you what this looks like. And there we have the rendered result. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. Those of you who are on the Patreon supporting the channel, you will be getting access to this exact blend file, which I will upload there as well. If you're not a Patreon, thank you for watching anyway. I really appreciate it. You can definitely like and subscribe. That helps me out a lot um, with the channel. And um, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.